Hello everyone, Fred here with Card Dealer Pro, and in this video, we're going to run through the basic settings in your profile page within the Card Dealer Pro web app. So for this video, we're going to assume that you already have a Card Dealer Pro account. If you don't, please check out carddealerpro.com and sign up today. So to run through the settings, a couple different ways that we can access that part of the page. We can go over here on the left side in the menu where it says settings and click on that, or we can click on our profile up in the upper right corner, get the drop down and click profile. Both of these will take you to the same place. So to begin with, we start by showing you your profile picture, which you can click to change. We show you what your subscription plan is and when the next payment is due. We show you how many scans you're allowed within your monthly plan and how many you've already used, as well as how much storage space you have for all of your images. Now, when you signed up, you created a username and a vendor name, which is your business name, you can edit. We have access to the change password option. So if you ever needed to go in and manually change your password, you could change it here. You also get the option to change your pa uh, password at the login screen. So if you ever forget it, we do give you that option as well. I can select this box to have it automatically log me in when I open up the web app. So we'll remember your username and password for 30 days. If you don't check this, then you have to log in each time that you open the web app up. We have a checkbox here for enabling email notifications when a batch completes. I think this is a really helpful feature. If this is checked and enabled, you'll get a update here in the upper right corner. And what that means is that when you submit a batch and we're letting the visual search run to automatically document all of the cards with our AI and machine learning, um, if you submit hundreds or thousands of cards, that might take a few minutes for that to complete. Rather than sitting and waiting and watching the batch, you can check this box and get an email notification when that's done. So you can come back and then check out the results without having to just sit there and stare at the screen and wait for it. You also get options to change your membership. So we show you all of the different membership plans and you can scroll to see them all, see which one you're on and just click the button to change which one that you have. We have the ability to buy additional scans. So if you run out of how many scans you're allotted for the month and you want more scans but you don't necessarily want to change your plan because this is a heavy month for you and you don't plan on using that much next month you can make a one-time purchase and these will stick with you for the life of your account so you can use these up in a day a week a month or a year it's really up to you they'll be on your account uh, until they're used up we have the categories section now categories are something that's really kind of up to you if you want to use or not, but we give you the ability to create custom categories. So maybe that is like the sport that you want to organize them in or all PSA baseball cards or all SGC non-sports cards, etc. You can create your own categories to tag your cards in when you're using the software. Now we really go into this in a lot more detail in the batch settings and um, the batch information how-to guide. I'd really recommend you checking that out if you're interested in that feature. Um, but this is where you would access the settings. My favorite settings, the banner settings, definitely check out the how-to guide on how to add banners to your card images. Um, we do an in-depth run through on that, but here you can choose the banner and where you want to apply it to a card so you can upload your card images and really brand them for your own shop with your own logo. Um, we have our batch defaults. Again, check out the batch how-to guide for all of that. And then at the very bottom, we have our GLE tech integration. So if you're a GLE customer and selling through their multi-channel product, this is where you enter in your username and password to integrate with the GLE product. So this has been a high level overview of the settings page within the web app. If you have any questions about this or you need any help, as always, please use this support button in the bottom right corner of all of the web pages. Just click on that. It opens up the form to get in touch with us. We're always happy to jump on the phone, schedule a one on one call or demo with you, help out anywhere we can. And also check out all of the other great how to guides we have on virtually everything within the Card Dealer Pro web app. So thanks for checking out the Card Dealer Pro settings. And if you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, happy collecting.